things of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. I'll be home for a couple of days, wander around with you. You and me in the cold, thought it never be true. Wherever I go, I got you. Oh, I have stopped running. There is no way trying. You better lose your belt. Oh, Grace. How much more, please? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the weekend vlog. Hope you've all had a lovely week. We've had a busy week, um, but this weekend is actually quite a nice chilled out weekend, which is so rare for us at the moment. Um, but yeah, just more festive bits and pieces going on. Um, we are going to my dad's today. Um, Ben's gonna do some work on some of his doors for him. I think they're putting their Christmas tree up and I'm hoping to just eat some cheese, maybe have a cheeky glass of wine at lunch and just relax really, because it's just being crazy. The lead up to Christmas is crazy. Does anyone else find that? Or are you finding that, that it's just getting busier and busier? Um, but yeah, come along with us for the weekend vlog. And then what would you say? We must go to... So I realised that I didn't um, update you, this is so funny, I put it on Instagram stories and then I thought, oh no, I must include it in the vlog. So this morning, I was fast asleep, it was like half past six, and then I started hearing some banging and clanging downstairs. I was like, what is that? So I kind of woke up, and then I heard all the cutlery going, and I thought, no, the boys can't be downstairs. So we've got a stair gate at the top, and Marley can open it, but he's never done that before. They usually just play in their room. Um, you know, once they've come and woken us up and stuff like that. So anyway, I woke Ben up and I said, I think they're downstairs. And he was like, no, surely not. Especially because the gate was closed. So Marley had opened the gate to let them both down and closed it behind him. We got down and they're in the kitchen um, trying to open two Barney Bear cakes and an apple juice with the pizza cutter. And I was like, what are you doing? The, um, the elf had been wrapping presents last night and then they had pulled one of the kitchen chairs in by the Christmas tree and they had tried to put him back on his stand and um, instead he just sat on the sofa um, because they didn't manage to get him onto his stand. There was like scissors out, oh my goodness. So <laughs> I just can't believe it. And when I said to Marley, you know, it's really dangerous, especially because Felix shouldn't be going down the stairs and everything. He was like, oh, don't worry, mummy, I made him go on his bottom. So it was just really sweet, like we were trying so hard not to laugh and explain that they can't do that, but I'm gonna have to really make sure that I'm listening out for them in the mornings now. But because they've always just come in to get us and wake us up, it's never occurred to me that they would go downstairs, but they did. So anyway, right now we're having a bit of a battle about what they are and aren't allowed to take to grandpa's house. Uh, they basically just want to take everything with them, um, especially the large animals. So the large stuffed animals, so I'm just gonna Try and uh, get round that and see if we can take a minimal amount of stuff. You two all right? What's that, boys? The nice. Yeah. Uh, who would like an olive? Well, mm. Did you just say me? You want an olive? No. Oh, dear. <laughs> I did. He said he did not want no. an olive. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, mommy bear. Yeah. No, mommy bear. Chilling out at dad's house, although um, Ben and my dad have been doing the doors and like doing upstairs, so the boys have needed to stay downstairs. And because it's so grey outside and we haven't gone out, horse boys, horse out the window. Oh, you missed it. Um, yeah, we haven't been out, so they're running wild a bit now. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to go and have a little glass oh, of wine with my yeah. soup. Oh. And um, yeah, and then I think we'll head back so soon. Annoying. Right, we are on our way home and the weather is vile. It's so horrible. But anyway, the kids were running just wild at my dad's, so we decided that we were gonna head back. It's, it's half three, so it's a bit late in the day anyway. Um, but yeah, the rain is horrible and it's like going at a snail's pace. So I think we're just gonna go home, chill out, watch some films, and just relax, really. It's so dark, isn't it? Look at that light. There's no light in here. And we can go and see Eric the bear. Eric the bear is our favorite bear, isn't he? Yeah. 
It is quarter to four and both boys are asleep, which is always a winner. Always a winner. These ones on this plate. Yep, these ones go on this plate. But it already makes a difference. Can you see that, Pete? Yeah. We've changed one light already. I'm going to change them all so that the light in this kitchen is better because every week when I film, I'm always in here because this is where I live. Really? So, oh, you can't see my head. This is where I live in the kitchen, so we're going to try and change the lights, but already just the one above Felix, that makes a massive difference, doesn't it, Lix? What do you think? Uh, Does that make a difference? Uh, yeah. Yeah, simple soap. You're not. Oh, you can do brilliant counting, can't you? Light. Good counting, Lix. Nearly done? Uh, who's it going to be? Me. Me. Right, I've got Me. a deal. Every time you have a mouthful and you finish it, you get an elf card. Are we ready? Quickly, go, 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 go. Who's going to win? Me. Go on then, eat one. No, bring it back. Alexa, what is the most popular Christmas song in the world? Mummy, give it back. The jury's still out on that one. Alexa, play me your favourite Christmas song. Here's a station for Christmas music. Christmas music. She doesn't and like me. Music. Do that one. Alexa, play Santa Claus is Coming to Town by the Jackson 5 on Spotify. Santa Claus is Coming to Town by the Jackson 5 for mm. on Spotify. So the kids are in bed and look, this spot is driving me mad. The kids are in bed and um, I am just going to have a chilled evening. What I forgot to say earlier, I don't know if you can hear me over the tumble dryer, hopefully I'll see when I edit this, is that yesterday my leg started feeling really weird. It was like itchy but not itchy but then it started going really red and kind of like a round circle with a bruise came up. and. Um, then it was fine overnight, I didn't think much of it. And then this morning I woke up and it's quite, this circle is quite like red and bruised. And my leg has been so sore all day and hot. It's been driving me mad. Um, so I've convinced myself that I've got deep vein thrombosis. I don't think I have. Ben has got, I'm just looking at it now. Yeah, it's a funny old shape. Um, but Ben thinks it's a bug bite, and he's probably right, but I just think that's so funny. I was just texting my friend just now, and I thought, oh, I must update you guys. It's so funny that our two personalities are like that. I think I'm dying, and he thinks I've got a bug bite. But anyway, I am going to keep a close eye on it because I feel like I've got really bad, like, cramps and stuff in my leg. It's just really strange, and you wouldn't think you'd get that from a bug bite, but at the same time... It would be very rare to have a blood clot, I think, at my age. And I'm not like, I'm always running around. I'm not like I'm just sitting around or anything. But yeah, so anyway, that's me tonight. I'm going to have um, a glass of wine. I'm supposed to be up in London this weekend, um, which is a real shame because without any children, just supposed to be me and my best friend. She's got tonsillitis, which is such a shame. Um, so if you're watching this, I hope you feel better. Hope you're feeling lots better and the antibiotics have kicked in and um, so yeah the weekend plans have changed a little bit for me but actually it's quite nice um to also just spend some time chilling even with my like elephant leg um so yeah 
So I'm going to make a pizza. I don't know if I'm going to film any more tonight because obviously I'll be filming tomorrow. Um, ben was supposed to be taking the boys to um, their nativity practice at the church tomorrow. So that's different. Marley's got a preschool nativity, which is so sweet. And he's going to be Joseph in that. So that's lovely. Um, but also the church, our local church down the road is doing a nativity. And I think he's a shepherd or a wise man. I'm not sure. But they've got a practice for it tomorrow. And I was going to miss that because I'm in London. I wasn't going to be in London, but actually it's going to be quite nice to see him doing that. And then I think we're going to do the gingerbread house take two tomorrow afternoon and maybe try a walk and stuff if the weather improves and it isn't raining. So yeah, that's me. I'm going to go and get my glass of wine. You see it in the background? Just there. <coughs> Got to have a glass of wine. You know, blood cot, bug bite aside, must have a glass of wine. So anyway, that's what I'm going to go and do. I will see you guys all in the morning. Night, night. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning. Now, with these weekend vlogs, I had, like, wanted to make them all jingly and special because, for the most part, like... I just love this month and it's so nice, it's so special. We've got the Christmas tree up, the boys are having like lovely breakfasts. I've got this idea in my head of how I want like weekends to be and everything. But I don't know if you can hear the noise downstairs. That's the noise. And actually I think it's important to talk about the real reality of motherhood. As you know, this vlog is what that is about. And it's Sunday morning and I woke up and I felt really positive and like excited and I wanted to do a few really nice things with the boys today. They've got a nativity practice this morning and then I was going to do gingerbread. I probably will still do gingerbread in the afternoon. <coughs> but Marley is just being so, so much hard work at the moment and I'm literally at breaking point. So I've literally just taken myself upstairs because it's a weekend and I can just have a couple of minutes to myself because I'm at boiling point and I don't know if you guys feel like that ever um well breaking point not boiling point but I just I have to really calm myself and remove myself because I feel like I'm just gonna lose it he's just being so difficult he challenges me on everything I put this in a post the other day um just saying like feisty at four and that is definitely what he is and I think a lot of it comes down to just being understimulated and he's the eldest in his year. So at preschool, he's kind of like at the top of the top of the class because he's the bigger one. And um, it's like one of you commented on my um, post the other day and said, you know, it's really common. They kind of flex their muscles at this age. They're just pushing the boundaries. And that's exactly what he is doing. But this morning... I've like got to get myself out of this mindset of like I just don't want to look at him because I'm just so cross and obviously I can't be cross because he's four he's just a child um, and like my husband just said don't let it ruin your whole day but it does because I'm like why do you have to battle me on everything and it's not just a battle of like no mummy I'm not going to do this it's a battle of like he has to shout everything he says and then he gets angry and he hits me and he hits Felix and he pushes Felix over and drags him around. Felix is quite easy at the moment actually, so much for terrible twos, he's actually being really good. Um, <clears throat> but then they're different aren't they, Marty was an angel baby and has been a more difficult toddler and Felix was a nightmare baby like just so difficult and now kind of now he can communicate he's amazing but anyway can you hear them downstairs that's yeah so we're just trying to keep my cool get myself together and then we are going to go to church and do this um, nativity practice because they're in that I think that's next weekend and then hopefully like we can just pick up and have a nice Christmassy afternoon doing gingerbread and things like that so let's see how we go but that's the reality isn't it and I'm sure many of you feel like that on a daily basis too but yeah right let's get on with our day right Marley we need to put your top on now so I need you to listen to me Right, Lex. Let's get going. Let's go to church. Hey! Oh. Getting ready to go off to church for nativity practice. Are you ready to be sheeps and shepherds? Marley, you're not taking that egg. I've already said no. Here we go. Monkeys. Monkeys. Are you ready, Felix, to be a little sheep? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
back from um, church and a little rehearsal and apparently the boys were spot on, yeah. perfect, oh, yes. very well behaved. They're making up for it now as soon as we are back. Um, but anyway, we'll see if we can get have some lunch and maybe give Felix a sleep or get this gingerbread house done. And then I am actually going to take Marley to a Kris Kringle service up at another church in Dorking. It's like more kid orientated um, just me and him and then a couple of my NCT friends are going to come with their bigger ones as well so it would be nice to have some quality time with Marley and just do something a bit Christmassy with him and meanwhile this is what's going on down at my feet boys Marley 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 just trying to get you to have a little sleep aren't we are you very tired boy He's so tired, so I'm just trying to get him to have a little nap on the sofa. And then I've got to go on and get on and tidy up, haven't I? Daddy's doing upstairs, isn't he? No, are Yeah. So I've just done my little gel, so I've got this gel. It's not done yet, it's... It's got swipey okay. now, but it's not ready yet. Is it not? Okay. No, you need to wait till it's ready. Okay. Right. So yeah, I've just done my nails. I like doing them gel because then at right. least they last. So yeah, Felix is asleep. Um, I'm going to wake him up shortly. Actually, I've tidied upstairs. Well, Ben actually did the tidying upstairs. I just did the boys' room, done my nails, and now I'm just going to pack a tea for Marley, and then we're going to head up to the church for a little Christmas Chris Dingle service. Oh, there's the tumble dryer. Always washing going, isn't there? All the time. Felix! What's wrong? Okay. Felix, you've just Twinkle, woken up. Twinkle, little you are. Ba, 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 in the sky. Dima, dima, in the sky. Crinkle, crinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Brilliant singing, Marley. Why the puppy? Why the puppy? Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun is to ride on wonderful sofa and play. Beautiful. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells. So we are just getting. We are just walked down to the bottom near where we live to meet some friends, and then we're gonna. So walk up to the Chris Crystal hey, service which Marley bells, will love I'm sure bells, and Daddy has gone to see way. his dad oh, with Felix. Are you ready to go to the thing? So it's going to be fun isn't it? Hey, bells, he just won't singing, stop singing <laughs> which is lovely isn't it? Gaze upon the sky Christmas on my mind Somewhere from a place up high above There's a song of love Traveling afar Seeking us to warm up every heart To be our The boys are in bed. I didn't film much after tea time because um, Marley went into one of his meltdowns, but he seems to have gone to bed fine, so that was nice. But it was lovely to go to the Chris Dingle service and do our oranges and light them. And I was kind of trying to teach Marley what it was all about. I'm not sure he quite got it, but it was nice and sing, singing away in a manger and some other things. So yeah, it was really nice to go and do that. It was chaotic. Um, but we just walked there and like I said it's just nice to have some time just me and him actually so I have just poured a glass of wine and then I'm going to cook Ben and I some fish and chips which is kind of a Sunday meal that we quite like having actually just fish chips in the Tefal thing that I have and then mushy peas that's how I do it and I'm going to call my mum because it's Sunday so I always call my mum on a Sunday and yeah and then I cannot believe the week is going to be starting again and this week is such a busy one I was saying in one of my posts the other day that 
in my kind of field of work it's a really busy time of year and with the blog it's a busy time of year I want to get a few different videos up this week and um, so I was thinking of things like what I've got in my Christmas food shop some of my December favorites and then just some Christmas Eve vlogs as well so I'm going to try and do that I've got a work day tomorrow so half the day is going to be on kind of probably on my proper job well most of the day I would have thought actually because that's going to be quite busy the next couple of weeks and then I will try and sit down whilst the boys aren't here and get some videos filmed um, but yeah I think that's about all from me I hope you all have a lovely week ahead um, I hope you've got lots of festive things planned and I will see you hopefully before next weekend for the next weekend vlog have a good one guys bye